So y'all voted for a crazy real estate story. So here's the first deal I ever did in real estate. It was a distressed property that another agent brought into the brokerage. They were helping the seller sell it because they were being drained financially because of taxes, fines from overgrown grass, you name it, squatters everywhere. It was just a headache for them. One of the companies said, whoever gets it sold, gets X amount of commission. We said, bet, let's go. So, started pushing this thing out to different investors. They were saying, nah, I don't like the location, too far, you know, blah, blah, blah. I figured, okay, maybe it's just a house nobody nobody knows. But I was like, man, this thing is cheap, $35,000. I figured it would have been sold by then. A couple days go by, somebody calls me like at 9 o'clock at night. They're like, hey, I wanna, I'm interested in the house. Am I able to go see it? And I was like, okay, sure, for sure. It was a red flag. I probably should have taken it into consideration, but I just nudged it away and said, hey, I want to get this done. Sure. Called my broker, asked him, hey, is it cool if I go show this thing? He's like, you probably don't want to go out there at 9 o'clock at night. I was like, okay, for sure. So I texted him, let him know, hey, can't do it today, but maybe we can do it tomorrow. I come to find out it was a wholesaler. So boom, back to square one. Nobody's biting for this thing. A couple days later, another agent from a different brokerage called and says, hey, I have a client who's interested in your property. When can I go see it? I was like, today. Set it up, go out there. Up until this point, I have never been to this property. Uh, I just saw it in pictures. I go check it out, drove by, got there early. Everything seemed normal, just a quiet little neighborhood. Got there, boom, parked. Waved to the neighbor, who's gonna come up in the story. And then I just waited for the agent to show up with his client. He shows up, gets out the car, hand on the hip the whole time. My boy was strapped. He knew where he was, he knew the area. And I was like, okay. I've been around people that open carry. I figured, okay, maybe that's just the way he rolls. The whole time they were there, his clients were inside watching the property. He was by the door the whole time and just hand on the hip. They didn't buy it, back to square one. A couple days later, another agent calls. Their investor wants to go see it. He's been buying in that area for the last couple months. I was like, okay, give him the combination lock. I can't make it, they can't make it. While this investor is checking out this property, a couple houses down, there's a fight that turns into a brawl with different neighbors that ends up being a gunfight and somebody ends up getting injured. This investor was completely unfazed. It was just another Tuesday for him. He had been buying in the neighborhood the last couple months, so he was used to being in that environment. He buys it, he says, okay, let's close it. I was like, sweet, we're gonna get this done. I go check out the property. There's really not much to do. The inside's trash, it was squatters, debris everywhere. So I was like, okay, let me just, I guess, lock it up. Make sure the keys are in the lockbox, get everything ready. So the guy I had waved earlier in the story comes over. It's like, hey man, what are you doing? How's it going? I was like, hey man, doing good. We just helped the seller sell this property off. It had been a big headache to them. You know, I'm a real estate agent, it's what we do, it's what I do. He's like, oh man, that's cool, that's cool. He's like, yeah man, the people that were squatting there were one of my biggest clients. I didn't think I need to go it. And I was like, oh really man, what do you do? Kind of just looks around. He's like, well, let's just say I'm in the pharmaceutical business. And I was like, oh, okay, man, cool, cool. Still didn't cut, you no, know, I should have. I'm a little naive, but I should have known. And I was figured, okay, maybe it's a pharmacist just to hit a rough patch. You know, he's living here. Them student loans are, are big. And then he goes to proceeds and gives me the list of things he's selling. And that's when it hit me. Homeboy's selling, and he's not selling the, he's selling some heavy stuff. And then I started kind of looking around me, you know, just, just kind of, not trying to cause a scene, but I just started looking around and I could see people just looking at me, just staring me down. And it's not just one house, it's like two houses over there. I could tell the neighbors behind me were just staring. Everyone's just looking at me. I was like, oh man, that's cool, man. Well, no, not right now. I'm not buying right now, but uh, if anything ever comes of it, I'll, I'll come, I'll come knock, <laughs> I'll come knock at your door. I was like, yeah, man, for sure. Dabs me up. I go my own way. I start walking to my truck, you know, just casually trying to make sure I don't look scared, make it to my truck, turn it on, bada bing, bada boom, end of story. So that was my first deal in real estate. It was crazy, $35,000 home, about 800 square feet, rough neighborhood, but of course it got bought, renovated, I believe there's a family now. Actually, I believe a couple houses down from that one have already been bought and refreshed, but definitely learning experience. Definitely a good one to get your feet wet in this industry, it's crazy. Up until now, now I've been in rat infested homes, flea infested homes, needle homes have interacted with squatters have been in homes that probably should have been destroyed but still got bought so it's definitely a crazy industry to, to be in definitely more stories to come if you need anything let me know if there are any questions you want to ask a real estate agent or just know in the business let me know and of course if you or anyone you know is trying to buy or sell real estate give me a call
That's all I got for you today. Peace. See you later.